Fit like a bee, Danny Min here, and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 2. Express Freight, Northampton to Edge Hill. Now, there is another variant of this in this chapter 3. Uh, you can run this sort of route on a nice sunny day. We are going to run this one at night in the snow, because it looks nice. One of the things I'm going to do is switch on my lamp, and it's something I probably should have done in the previous episode when we were running at night. But hey-ho. There we go. It looks really nice here, actually. Uh, we'll just set the local up for forward running. Yeah, it looks really nice in the snow. Yeah, this is cool. Right, so let's jump back in. Everything is set up. Let's release our brakes. Let's get the large injector open so we can get that coming up quite nicely. And uh, because it's a little bit, uh, little bit sandy, I'm gonna uh, a little bit snowy. Yeah, close you. Come on. I hate when it does this. Now we're on a zero point three percent downgrade, so. Why are you not just going? <laughs> now, in all honesty, this is the second time I have attempted this recording. Uh, I will show you why in uh, just a little bit. So, let's, uh, we don't need the sander anymore. Let's close that up. Couple of chuffs there. We'll close the uh, cylinder cocks and we're good to go right so we're proceeding out of the yard here and then we are going to be heading all the way to uh, sorry Edge Hill so this is it's quite a long journey it's got some ups and downs as well because you need to pass through Runcorn and there is the uh, quite a steep incline at the other side of, uh, of Runcorn now, the reason I have done this scenario before, I've not actually completed the scenario. I failed it. I've actually failed it twice. Uh, right from the beginning. Right from this point here. So, stop application, Salop Goods Junction down, Liverpool Independent. Now, stopping here is not easy. Uh, we are about to go down. <gasps> So we're going to go downhill here, down this embankment. It's quite steep. We go under the bridge, and then in, we have to stop at this location. Literally, where that stopping point is, is a red semaphore, a signal at red, at danger. And the last two times I did this, uh, I sort of rolled up to the signal at about 10 miles per hour. And the train couldn't stop. The train would not stop from 10 miles per hour on a flat grade. I could not get it to come down uh, to zero. Uh, believe it or not. And it was quite horrific, actually. <laughs> so I'm going to apply the brakes now. And I'm going to keep it. Sort of adding brake. And I'm, I'm really just going to crawl up to this. If we actually head over here, you see the 500 yards to the stopping point, and just on the left hand side there, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, I can, there is the semaphore at red, and it's bad, it's real bad. Now right here, the train is on a flat grade, and it drops speed like a, like nothing I've ever seen before. It, the speed completely dies, even though technically the back of the consist is actually off the hill now, it's on the flat. But when you go to stop it here, which is also in a flat grade, yeah, it doesn't lose, lose speed at all. You need brakes. So I'm just going to crawl up to this. The thing is as well, this scenario... Is, uh, it's quite a long scenario, so when you're sort of rumbling around at these really slow speeds, uh, it just makes it 
even longer. The first time I did this, even in the good weather, it took me about an hour and 20 minutes. I want to sort of shave a ton of time off of that. The problem is as well, which is really annoying, is we are going to rock up to this signal right here. We're going to stop. And as soon as we stop, the signal is going to change to green and we're going to be able to go and roll forward. There you go. See how the locomotive is not losing any speed here at all. Now we're not in any sort of decline. There you go, that braked so much better than it did previously. Now you're just wheel slipping constantly. Alright, I really just need you to crawl. Yeah, this stopping marker. This stopping marker needs to be placed about here, roughly where the train actually is. Now, the tracks are. Uh, there is snow, so it will be sort of. It's not ideal conditions. Alright, close that. I'm not going to make the same mistake again. 10 yards. Add a touch of brake. Stop. Alright, give me that. Yes, thank God. Right, and then, and then it changes to green. So, yeah, thanks again. Why could you not just have let me go? I'm going to keep the sander on. Yeah, it just needs to be... The speed needs to sort of be trickled in. Come on, off you go. Right, away we go. Right, 0 0.8 miles go via fast line. So that's nice. At least we're going to be on the actual fast line. So we won't be restricted to sort of 50 miles per hour. Bring it up to 15%. There we go. Those PRVs have finally closed again. So it's a little more, it's a little less noisy in here now. Yeah, 24 miles go via fast line. So there's some distance to go. And at 0 0.7 miles, we're going to come down to 15. So coming out of the yard here is sort of dead slow. If this episode becomes too long, I will make it a two-part episode. What I'll do is in editing, I'll just sort of cut the episode in half. Because that's probably, what, about 10 minutes just to get to this part. Plus I was messing around with the trying to stop for that signal. Right, this looks like an uphill. This looks like a start of an incline ahead of us. Uh, the tracks, because we're in a tunnel, the tracks should be dry here. So wheel slip should not really be an option. There you go. Turn the sander off. There you go, there's the start of the snow again. Right, now we're heading back outside. Now the speed limit coming up is 15. But we are going uphill. So we are going to bleed speed going up here. Up we go through this sort of channel. There is no red signal aspect though, so we're all good on that sort of front. Alright, we're reaching the top here. This is looking quite nice. There we go. I'll just sort of chill out in this sort of coal bunker. Right, so, 
400 yards to that 15. Whatever speed it is at, when we get to the top of this hill, I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get a increased speed limit just soon after the 15 miles per hour. Right, nothing really to see down that side. There we go. There's a better view. No sort of trains on the main line. There we go. The grade is easing off, so that's nice. We're going to pass the signal. It's going to come down to 15. What I want to look for, right, is a sort of aspect of speed limit change. There doesn't seem to be any signs or anything up saying that. Oh yeah, there we go. And 20 yards, 90 miles per hour. Right, let's start easing this up. I want it up to a sort of decent speed. Uh before my boiler pressure sort of dies. Right, it says 20, but that is going to shoot up to 90 any time now. There we go, there it is. So we're good. We are good to start flying down the line. There we go. Oh, there's a graveyard there. Wait, how have I not noticed this before? How have you not noticed the huge graveyard at the side of the rail tracks? Huh. There you go. Checking out the graveyard there. Yeah, this seems so much more brighter with the snow. I forgot to change my head code, that's okay. Right, come on, get up to 30 miles per hour. I don't want to ease this up too fast. Because uh, we'll just get a, a ton of wheel slip. Right, 22 miles to the fast line. I think we're on the fast line, aren't we? There you go, 50% on a regulator. Boiler pressure is going to come down, but I want to see how much speed I can sort of get out of this. Hopefully there's a sort of decline section that we can sort of roll through. That'll give us a bit more extra speed. And I will have a drink of my refreshing beverage because it is about a million degrees in this room right now. So in my house, at this particular time of day in summer, the sun is sort of beaming into the window that I am sort of sitting next to. That with the the two sort of rigs running and the OLED TVs at 4K produce a, a phenomenal amount of heat. It's, uh, it's pretty hot here, it's pretty toasty. Although, driving around in the snow like this, this sort of winter's evening, is uh, making me feel a bit more cool. Ah, the snow. Right, so, train is looking good. We're picking up speed nicely. No sign of any speed limit decreases. Let's up the ante here and take it up to, what, 65? Just edge it up, keeping an eye out for any wheel slip. Should be fine though. As long as we don't blast it up to like a hundred percent, we should be good. Let's jump outside the train. Ah, yeah, train is looking nice. Where's the moon? Uh, I did. There it is. Almost a full moon. But the stars and the moon are providing a, a bit of light. Plus there's the light pollution from the sort of buildings and stuff. There's lots of background sort of light. Alright, so we're looking good. We're almost up to 50. We're 
gonna bring you up to 70 there. 800 yards to next signal and it's green so that's all good. Yeah, we're looking good. What is over this direction? No other trains on the line this evening. It is, well, I say this evening, it's the, the morning, 5 past 5 in the morning. And we're sort of just trying to fly down this line as fast as possible. Now obviously for the incline, after the sort of Runcorn Bridge, I'm going to have to save a bunch of steam to get us up there. Uh, I don't fancy sort of losing steam at the train coming to a halt and then trying to start it on that incline with this uh, sort of snowy covered tracks. I would imagine that would be quite horrific and it's, it's not something I am it's something I am hoping to avoid. Right, we're almost up to 50. Possibly going to start uh, well, actually, I like this. This gives me a more accurate indication, this gauge. So, yeah, we're, we're just sort of about 120. 5, 10, 15, 20, 24, 115 PSI on the boiler there. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe bring this back in. To about we're starting to get a little bit of wheel slip there seems okay there the pressure is sort of fluctually uh, fluctuating between sort of going down and going up there we go we're going downhill now so we should actually be good here a little point two percent decline Open that up to 80%. Yeah, it's looking good. We're not really dropping a phenomenal amount of pressure, but we're not really gaining any either. Let's try and find like a sweet spot for this, where there's no wheel slip, but we are gaining boiler pressure back. I just want to creep that speed up. But sort of keep my pressure in the boiler. There we go. 56 miles per hour. That's fast as some of the other trains in the game, but it looks really nice sort of blowing past at that speed. Right, so we've 18 miles to our fast line. There you go. So boiler pressure is starting to climb, so this is a, a nice sort of spot here. Just a sort of point where we don't have any wheel slip, we are gaining just a little bit of speed and sort of throwing more pressure back into the boiler than we are actually losing. I'm going to tweak that open to 85. Uh, 50's maybe too much. Try 52. We are up to 60 miles per hour, so that's nice. And we are passing through this station here. We've got plenty of time, 17 miles, so we can just sort of eke the speed out. Get add a couple of a couple of miles per hour here and there. And it's quite bouncy through this section, so we're getting quite a lot of wheel slip.
I'm trying to get rid of that wheel slip we're accumulating right there. Nah, I think it's just a bit too... Yeah, the wheel, the, we're getting quite a lot of wheel slip here. Okay, maybe over 65 is potentially just a bit too much. Bring that regulator down. Okay, bring it down again. Hmm. Bring it down to 65. Yeah, still getting a bit of wheel slip here and there. We are still gaining speed, which is quite nice actually. Right, so green signal aspect right there. Next signal aspect is green. We are now passing Verdin's sidings. Let's jump on a camera. Oh, hello, cow. I hear cows. I don't see cows. And we're still gaining speed. It's quite nice, actually. We are getting still a little bit of wheel slip. It's going to bring that down to 60%. Still gaining speed, still getting wheel slip. Okay, bring it down to 50. Okay, bring it down to coast. I think this little 0.2% decline is actually really helping. Open it up by 10%, 11%. This should bring the boiler pressure back up, hopefully. Now, is this the area where my incline begins? I think it is. I literally think it is. Because we're now in a 0.3% incline here. Now, the thing is, I sort of know... So what's the name of this place? Hartford. Okay, we're getting there. Alright, want my boiler pressure back, please. And thank you. Open that up to 35%. 12 miles to go. We've sort of fallen under 60, I kind of want to keep it at 60. Looking good though. Right, is this where the speed limit change comes into effect? I think it's coming up soon. want to gain as much speed as possible for this incline if this is in fact where I think it is all right 12 miles to go though 11 miles we're sort of chewing through the miles here
Right, looking good. Speed is building. No wheel slip. Boiler pressure is coming down slightly. We are now on the flat again. Top speed for this area is still 90 miles per hour. Yeah, 2.4 miles. We're going to come down to 60. <clears throat> now I'm going to try and keep it just above 60 because this is where the, the start of the incline sort of really begins. And I want to make sure I've got a ton of boiler pressure for going up this hill. Right now we're looking pretty good. As we pass through, yeah, Acton Bridge, right, so the, yeah, this is the start of the hill. My right, boiler pressure is sort of holding. I'm gonna... Now it says 60, but I kind of want it to be at 65 for going around here. The train shouldn't derail at 65. But it means I lose just a little bit less speed for the start of this <clears throat> start of this mammoth incline of which it most certainly is. We are still going downhill, which is quite nice. And then we head right sort of around here uh, and then we take a left <laughs> right we're doing 66 actually which may be slightly too fast I don't care if it's too fast I, I, I need this I need this speed uh, I'm gonna let it coast just for a spell now this should be a really nice area. First screenshot should be. Oh well, we'll try and figure something out with that later. Right, so we are doing 65. It is going to come down to 50. We're going to be fine. Uh, going around this curve and then it's going to be up to uh, then it's going to be all uphill from there really there you go we're back into the 80 speed limit there is the start of the incline I want to bring my power back up to I don't know 50% let's try because it's 0 0.3 right now, but it will get worse. It will get a lot worse. Uh, our boiler pressure will drop significantly uh, quickly. See how fast it's going down there? And this is only the start. That's the flyover there. So we haven't really come up to the sort of large incline. There we go, we're 68.60. There we go, now it's just climbing up to 0.7%. It should go up to, I think, 1%. But we are carrying quite a lot of speed here, so we should be okay. There we go, round she goes. And then there we go, there is the start of the incline. Once we get to the top, it's all sort of downhill from there, but... Until we get there, we may have issues. It's looking good, though. Still got a little bit of boiler pressure yet, so I can actually increase my regulator. Can I adjust my regulator from here? No. That's a negative Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. Alright, we're going. We're chewing out this hill. 
Oiler pressure is dropping fastly. Or dropping quickly. Fastly? Quickly. Right, open this thing up to 100. I want all the speed you can possibly give me just to get to the top of here. There we go. 1% incline there. The, the top is literally in sight. Oh, sweet. This might not be too bad, actually. Right, six miles to our Govio location. Right, there we go. We are almost on the decline. Now, we will have to slow down or be going pretty slow for heading through Runcorn. I think the speed limit there is 60 or... can't remember. Right, are we still hauling the ass end of the train up the hill? No. Yes. There we go. Now we're good to go. Speed should start to increase here. Oh yeah, it's sort of up down. I forget that. So we'll go down for a teeny tiny little spell and then we're heading back up again. Still carrying a decent shake of speed though, so we should be good. Yeah, 2.5 miles. It's going to come down to 55 miles per hour. So once we get onto the decline into Runcorn, what I shall do is we will close in the regulator. We will let gravity take charge of the train, and then hopefully that will bring us up to about 55 miles per hour. If I remember correctly, it often takes you to well above 55. Now when you're running this route from the opposite side, because you have to slow down to 55 for going over the Runcorn Bridge, when you tackle the incline from the Runcorn direction, you don't have the liberty of doing like sort of 65, 60 miles per hour because you have to be at 55. You can take a bit of a creative liberty and sort of break the speed limit to try and keep it at 60, but it's uh, yeah, it's you don't have time to get that that speed back, and then you're sort of using all your boiler pressure to try and get the to try and get the train a haul the weight of the consist up the hill. Right, so we are now on the decline, so I am gonna leave the reverser open, but I'm gonna close the regulator. Boiler pressure should return to us. Come back, my boiler pressure friend. There we go. Boiler pressure is coming up. Speed is coming up. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna shoot way over fifty five, I would imagine. Now, because this is a go via location, I am not expecting any signals at danger, so I will possibly carry more than fifty five miles per hour through Runcorn Station. We will see how it goes. We're already at 54. I suppose we could possibly just keep the speed at 55. We're at 55 now. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and see what speed we get to at the bottom of this, this hill. If it ain't too bad, then uh, then that's fine. 58. We're still going downhill though. <laughs> there we go. So here is pretty much... Why am I slowing down to 20 in 2.4 miles?
How far away is 2.4 miles? Alright, since I have to come down to 20 anyway, I'm going to start braking. See how this actually slows down? Can I get a nice shot of the train coming through here? That would be nice. Yeah, this weird mist effect is... Well, it's weird. <laughs> Alright, release my brakes. Pretty sure I can get it down from 30 to 20 in 1.4 miles. There you go. A rude awakening at half five in the morning for all the people who live in those houses. And there are no houses here. Wait. Huh. See, all the covered wagons that you normally transport have these logs, these sort of timber beams in them. You don't just get like the normal covered ones, like the, the ones back there. There you go, I'm adding a little bit of power. Not because we need it, because I want those uh, PRVs, those pressure relief valves to close, because man, it is, they are loud. Right, now I believe this is just a go via location. I don't think I'm actually stopping here. I think I need to keep rolling. Right, still going downhill. Still increasing speed. Still need to slow down to 20 miles per hour and 0 0.8 miles. Alright, cut the power. Man, I'm so hot. It is like a sauna in this room right now. Right, there we go. We're releasing the excess pressure there. I am wondering if... Now, nah, because this is only Runcorn. And we are heading to Edge Hill. So we still have some distance to go. Give me like... 25% on the brakes there. Just to get it down to 20. There we go, we're all good. Open the regulator up. One point two miles. There's this twenty. Are we switching tracks here? Is that why we have to go dead slow? I believe we are. Right, so nice flat sort of uh, grade here. Picking up speed again. Uh, it's one mile to our Govia location area. For the rest of the train to pass through Ditton Junction. 
So Dead Injunction, we've started from here many a time. I was wondering if you could hear the whistle from there, but you can't. Okay, right, so speed limit is back up. And let's uh, bring the train back up to speed. So 0 0.8 miles to our marker. Green signal aspect ahead. See, this is the problem. We had to slow down to 20 miles per hour and then straight after it is quite a large incline. So you kill a lot of your boiler pressure just try to get the speed up going up this hill. But I suppose we had a ton of boiler pressure rolling into this because we were basically coasting for so long. Right, come on. Come on, train. You can do it. Alright, so this is a go view location. Now, we are not stopping here. Or am I stopping here? I don't think I am. I think we just continue on. I think it's, it's quite a fair bit to go. Alright, is speed actually... Oh, 1.1 miles stopping. Now, is this going to change to green? <clears throat> once I get past here one thing we can actually do right so where's my schedule yeah edge hill sidings we are here where is this crew yard north Ah, Speak and Speak Junction. Liverpool, there's Edge Hill. There's our destination. So, <clears throat> not too long to go. Uh, so, I'm, I'm assuming... I'm going to throw caution to the wind here. And hope that this red signal aspect... At the other side here... Uh, is going to change once we pass through this marker. Now, it's a gamble. But I think we'll be okay. Uh, I hope they they don't change instantly as well. So there's a sort of squeaky bum moment when you think, "Uh oh, we're dead." There we go. Point seven. There you go. It changed. Right. I kind of want to get a bit of speed going up here. Right, go via fast line. Six miles. Right, I've got plenty of boiler pressure. Yeah, it's this it's this point six percent incline. I don't want to open the regulator right up because I'll just get a ton of wheel slip. The train won't get any speed, and all we'll do is sort of kill boiler pressure. It's going to creep it open about 5% at a time. So go via location, fast line. Now if you're swapping over at the fast line, if there's a switch, we'll have to slow down for it. The grade is sort of easing off. Go 
we're getting there. We are getting there. Yeah, if we uh, if we did not have to slow down to like 20 miles per hour, we would have just a flown through this section. It is what it is though. That's the route we were given, so... I mean, by all means, we could have just have thrown caution to the wind and gunned it through there at 60. We might have been okay, or bad things might have happened. You just don't know. I mean, I saw a lot of comments as well when this DLC first launched, and people were saying it was it was really easy to sort of derail uh, the train at speed. But I haven't. I've never derailed one of these yet. I've had the, you know, the. Reverse into a, uh, a siding buffer at like one miles per over the speed that you should be and then the train explodes because the train physics are so weird uh, when they have collisions. Uh, I've had that. Uh, it was actually in one of the videos. <laughs> it was like the slowest accident ever but it was like the, it's like the train got hit by a nuke or something. It was so weird. Right, we are sort of getting up this incline. Uh, there's still 4.5 miles to go. And that is just a go via location. That is not our final destination. Okay, let's jump outside the train for a while. This looks like an old, disused station. Oh. I suppose that the freight ones don't have the name. Nah, the freight variants don't have the name assigned to them. They probably would have a name, but not like the, the passenger ones have their... Whatever they were named after, printed on the side. There you go, we're going downhill now. We're, we're actually picking up speed. This is good. If I can get it up to 60 miles per hour on this little decline here, I can then shut in the regulator and try and gain back a bit of boiler pressure. Yes! I am loving it. Right, come on. Up you go. Yeah, because we are not on the fast line at the moment. We're currently on the slow line. Oh no. So what is going to happen is when we get to that go via fast line uh, we're going to have to switch tracks and it's going to want us to slow down quite significantly to switch over to them their tracks. Which is going to kill all our speed and momentum. So that's kind of sad. Now this is a huge yard here. Uh, uh, this is speak, right? Uh, looking good. 400 yards to go. I'm expecting that speed limit change any time now or roughly within a mile of this uh, go via location marker. I'm going to start flying around there all as well. Back in another 0.3% incline. Sound the whistle there as we head through this station. That's Allerton. Good morning, people of Allerton. I hope you enjoyed your sleep while it lasted. Right, still no sign of any speed limit change. 
It is 1.2 miles to the next signal. Uh, another mile plus after that. Yeah, I'm driving under the speed limit game. I keep getting points for driving under the speed limit, and I can assure you it's not by choice. I just don't want to fully open the regulator and lose all my boiler pressure for this 0.3% incline we're on right now. I'd like at some point, there we go, there's, a, there's that speed limit change. So to cross over to the fast line, we need to be doing 40 miles per hour. That's okay. That's fine. Just have a quick look at the boiler pressure up there. Even though it's down on my left hand side, I much prefer this gauge. Right, so how we're looking 47 miles per hour and two miles we're gonna come down to 40 or are we that is the question I might just blow through this at whatever speed we're doing when we hit it. as long as it's not way over we should be fine right there are oh, no problem is as well you're gonna get a red signal aspect here what I need to do as well is the last time I made this approach in Edge Hill uh, we should have died because I came in way too fast so I need to be aware of when I'm arriving at the Edge Hill yard so that I can slow down appropriately. Hello there people. Everyone's asleep. 20 to 6 in the morning. Yeah, this is a 0.9% incline. Duck under the bridge there. Eight F four eight one three three. Huh. This is probably I didn't even notice this. Huh. <coughs> Chief Operating Manager, Houston. That's pretty cool, actually. I never, I never noticed those, uh, those warnings there. To the driver's brake valve must always be opened before this engine is moved in steam and must never be shut off while the engine is in use. Oh, I was too busy reading that. There you go, speed limit. Oh, you see, you see, you see, you see. And then it comes down to 15. And it's a 0.7%. Oh my god. Yeah, it just it slows down. Sort of so fast. Alright, release the brakes. That should be good there. Get the power back on. I don't want to fall below 15. But we are pretty much at our destination. There we go. Lots of lovely coaches there. What are they? Mark 2s or Mark 1s? 
What are you? Uh, F key. Does it not say whether there are TSO Tourist Standard Open? Yep. Right, now remember, it's not as easy to slow down in these weather conditions. But yeah, we were almost caught out again there. Uh, the 40 miles per hour that dropped straight down to 20, that then dropped straight down to 15. It was close, but we're all good. Now I am speeding quite significantly here, and I'm hoping... I was kind of hoping that the, the train speed would just come down on its own. There you go. That's fine. 17 miles per hour I can live with. So there we go. This is where we are heading to. Right here. And we'll just let it sort of coast in. Right. PRVs are going to open. There they are. Right, we are heading over here. So at least in this one, the the red signal aspect is about 200 yards past the stopping area. So I'm not as concerned about getting this train to stop here. Now there is another local waiting in the siding there. Right, we're still a fair distance away. There we go. We're stopping next to you, Chuck. Oh, there's no one here. Who has left this? Loco unattended. Oh, I can't get in here. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, kill the power and the brakes. Stop there, looking good, perfect, I think, yep, got gold there, whoa, so that actually took 56 minutes, but there was a lot of messing around at the start, it was really slow coming out of that uh, Salop Goods Junction, so yeah, I'm quite happy with the way that turned out, the last time I did this run took me like an hour and 20 minutes, it is pretty much the same as the run we did in the previous episode, was it the previous episode? Maybe it was not. No, no, no. It was a different. It was a different run altogether. But yeah, so that is that one completed, and then that is that is us finished with the sort of freight for chapter three, and we can now move on to passengers in chapter four, which will be interesting. So we'll leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you'd like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. But I've been Danny Man, this has been Train Sim World 2, and I will catch you later.